Hey, what's good family? In this video, I just wanted to quickly go over one of the day trades we took today on the SPY. As of recently, I haven't been too big of a fan of trading options on the SPY, but for some reason today I felt led to. Spent around 12 minutes in this trade, got pretty close to a 50% return. To anyone that's a patron in the Discord, you see uh, I grabbed a put around 1.31 p.m. and I sold out around 1.42 p.m. So I was in the trade about 11 minutes. It's about $77 profit. And now without further ado, let's hop in the charts and take a look. All right, so here we are in trading view, looking at the charts. This is my normal default go-to. And the first thing that led me to the charts is I actually received an alert on my phone that a trend line broke. And what that trend line was actually this one right here. So this morning we broke to the upside, but then we broke to the downside, uh, moving down to a one hour. Uh, you can actually see, actually it was, I believe this trend line. So let's drop down to the 15. All right, so yeah, right here. This morning we were able to find a trend on the 30 minute. If you were on the live stream at all today, I don't remember the name, but if you saw the live stream this morning, uh, you saw someone told me they've been trading this by, they back tested a couple months and in the morning they used the 30 minute chart and they draw trend lines and from there they kind of use that as a trading range. So I kind of did the same, drew little trend lines and I kind of just waited. Uh, I wasn't really necessarily even planning on getting back in a trade for the day, but yeah, looking at it, going back to the 15 minute, we had these trend lines. Let me get rid of these uh, EMAs. We had these trend lines, we got the break and I see, first thing I did was I looked at it on the 15 minute and I saw, okay, we got a break. And in that moment, we're probably about right here. So I dropped down to the five minute and I say, how's it look on the five? I looked at it on the five and I was like, okay, it's right there. It had kind of wicked right here and kind of went back up. And I was like, in this moment, whenever you're at the trend line, and you catch a wick, but it kind of goes back up, you're taking a risk. There is no, uh, you kind of don't know if you should have taken the trade or you kind of don't know if the trade is valid until you get confirmation, which would have been on this candle way down here, which was a good chunk of my trade. If this, like you can see this trade I ended up taking, it was a one to 3.61 risk to reward but had I taken it down here when we got our complete candle, it would be less than a one to one. So entry makes a big difference. So right there, I took my entry and I was taking a risk. But with that risk, this time came great reward. Uh, right here, I want to point out that the risk to reward uh, was, was actually a little bit better. It was about right in there. And just the way it played out, it, it worked out. So I made, I got in the trade. Uh, we got this candle closed under here. We got this candle closed over here. Now that we have those candles closed, I'm kind of comfortable. That's when I got in. I turned in, turned on the EMAs just to see where we are. Um, the 48 wasn't as important, but what I did at this point was I just dropped down to the lower time frames because by this point I'm looking and saying, hey, I want to me personally, uh, I saw I was up. I was actually up a hundred, like over a hundred on the trade at one point. But I was like, hey, where's, I don't want to get out too early, but I don't want to get out too late. So uh, I dropped down, I dropped down to the one minute. Uh, you can see little, normally when I see stuff like this on the five minute, I'm getting out of the trade, but I dropped down to the one minute. We were still kind of moving. I was like, okay this is a little too slow for me so i moved up to the two and then pretty much i said okay we have all these black candles uh, the next blue one i'm closing out and taking profit so i took profit right here and then like that i was out of the trade and then of course after that we get another black one black candle but i was happy i was out of the trade and uh Moral of the video, 
There's always going to be another trade. There's always another opportunity. We are the result of the things we do day in and day out. If I can take a dub, if I can get out with the win, I'm going to take the dub. I'm going to get out with the win. Uh, it's not about maximizing profits. A win is a win, no matter how small. Over time, they add up. When you stack up wins and minimize your losses, that's when you start to realize who the boss is. So if you haven't already taken advantage of it and are interested in getting up to 20 free stocks, be sure to check out the Moomoo Moo referral link down below in the description. If for some reason you made this far and haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off. And I want to change your life.